the surge of Christian nationalism. And I focus here on Mark Robinson, the lieutenant governor yeah. of North Carolina, who very well may run the state. He, um, s today, a video has resurfaced of Mark Robinson saying he wants to go back to when women couldn't vote. This mm -hmm. is someone who's called homosexual trans um, people filth. This is someone who um, believes that feminism was created by Satan. I mean, the, the the injection of a theocracy or the overlay of a theocracy onto a democracy seems mm. deeply problematic on a number of levels. Well, and it's a perverted theocracy, of course, because yeah. I don't know who Mark Robinson thinks he would have been in 1919 before women could vote. But maybe he should um, ask those who were, you know, in the East, East St. Louis uh, race riots and race massacre. Maybe he should ask those who were in Tulsa. Maybe he should ask uh, folks who were in Alabama and Mississippi during that period. Um, the part that bothers me, uh, Alex, is that we have a very rich tradition in this country of um, those um, who were associated with Christianity who fought for social justice and change. Um, these are the same people who will quote, albeit just one line from a speech, Dr. Martin Luther King. Um, we, we think about the, the people, the, the civil rights movement was deeply and powerfully affected by people of faith, yeah. by, you know, Reverend Shuttlesworth and C.T. Vivian, and all of these were people who deeply studied uh, the Christian faith and who believed in the Christian faith and who were moved by it. And that tradition is part of our country as well. And so to see these people pervert a theology, it's not just that they're using theology, they're using their own theology and they are perverting it. Uh, to the aims, to their aims, in order to um, receive power. So I'm waiting for other Christian leaders to speak up yep. um, in that other tradition that we have in this country and and stand pat as well.